have thought to yourself, this is not the life I was born to live. I bet there's quite a few. Not dissimilar to my guest today, Catherine. She had those exact thoughts, but what she's done with them is absolutely amazing. In a few short years, Catherine has transformed her life. So sit back and enjoy this story. Catherine Graham, thank you so much for joining Inspirational Transformational TV show today. Thank you for having me. No problem. Um, now, you currently are an author, a life coach, a hypnotist, a Reiki practitioner, a mother of six, and a musician. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and the interesting thing about that is that you have been through so much before getting to that point. And I guess that's one of the things I wanted to start with today, was to go through your story, where you came from, what created someone at such a young age who was able to create so much in, in, in their life. So I sort of want to just hand it over to you, and, okay. um, and wherever you want to start, um, share your story. All right. Um, so I guess it basically all started when I was two. Um, I was molested by a man who was babysitting me and at the time I didn't have the emotional capacity to deal with it and so I just kind of buried it. And I carried that with me into my teenage years and when my father passed away when I was 16, again, I buried it. I wasn't emotionally capable of dealing with the feelings that I was having. Um, shortly after that I had had a molar pregnancy and then I had cancer. I went through cancer treatments for six months, um, chemotherapy. And then I had my first child. From that, I got married, and then I had a few more children, and then I got divorced. And it was the divorce itself, actually, that really put me into introspective as to who I was and where I wanted to go in my life. Um, when my husband and I were together, it wasn't a horrible relationship. I don't blame him for anything. I don't hate him for anything. Um, we just kind of took what we needed from each other and we didn't want to give anything back to each other. And at this time, I was in my early 20s and uh, I started being very depressed in my life. And I was looking around at everything and everything just seemed to be so horrible. Um, it was, you know, my molesting, it was coming back up to the surface. My dad dying was coming back up to the surface. Everything was coming back up to the surface for me to deal with it once and for all. And, I had to deal with it. So. And so uh, around the age of 16, at that point in your life, you're saying that you, you lost your father, you had a molar pregnancy, you were diagnosed with cancer and went through treatment, and then shortly after you were married and had children. Yeah, it was, uh, it, basically it was my search for love. Um, right. My dad dying. Um, really made me feel alone and given my sexual experience when I was two it made me turn to sex for being the way to find love and to refine that love that I was losing through my father um, so yeah I was promiscuous I can say that um, yeah I was married at the age of 19 I think but by that time I'd had two children and maybe we got married when I was 20 What's that? <laughs> but young. Like yeah, that's a, I was a huge very young. experience for, for someone so young. And and you're saying that it wasn't actually until the point of your divorce that that was the catalyst for you to reflect? Or was it that you started to reflect on your past and that was a catalyst for a divorce? Yeah, it was. I was reflecting on my past and that was the catalyst for the, for the divorce. Um, my husband he was trying to be understanding but he couldn't understand what I was going through and I wasn't willing to let him understand what I was going through I was very I became very inward and I really had to try and figure myself out um, it all started I was watching a TV show while I was on maternity leave and it was called starting over and it was about life coaches and these women that would go to a life coaching house and they'd be life coached for three months or six months or whatever and make a huge change in their life and so I started watching the show and I started doing life coaching on myself and I started getting to the very bottom of some problems and it was a real eye-opener for me. And uh, so that's when I realized I had to start doing something about everything. I couldn't keep burying all of my feelings deep within me because it was just eating away at me. So, 
And so it was seeing this show, seeing other people going through the transformation that was a motivation for you to start that work on yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It's really nice to see people who are also struggling, which is maybe horrible to say, but when you're able to see other people struggling and just know that you're not alone, that's the biggest motivation for anybody, I think. That's fantastic. And so you started to life coach yourself, and what, what happened when you started to do that? What were your experiences? Um, the biggest one was what I call the forgiveness project. Um, it's where you go back through your whole life and you just decide to forgive everything. And there was a girl on the show who had to write forgiveness letters to her father who had hurt her and her sister who had hurt her. And there's quite a few people that she had to write letters to. And so I just started writing. And I said, I'm going to have half an hour. I'm going to start writing who I need to forgive in my life. So I started, and about an hour and a half later, I had like seven pages filled front and back, and <laughs> <laughs> there was things coming up that I never even realized that I held anger towards or hurt feelings towards, and a lot of issues for myself where I was angry at myself for decisions I had made that I was able to bring up, and then I ripped it all up and I sent it to my angels, and I said, I am now forgiven, and they are now forgiven, and everything is fine, and that was the biggest release for me. It felt so good to do that. That's fantastic. Yeah. From there, you left your husband? Yes. And you are now a life coach, so did you start school at that point? Or? I, no. I um, when I first left my husband, I actually went on Yahoo Answers and I asked, how does somebody become a life coach? And I had a life coach contact me and tell me his own experiences. So we talked back and forth for about four months of him kind of life coaching me and kind of teaching me how to become a life coach. And from there, it was just a want that I had was to be a life coach. And it wasn't until last January that I actually became certified as a life coach. So. Congratulations. Thank you. And at the point when you when you left your husband, what what else happened in your life? What were the other transformations you were going through? What did you realize? What you sort of I've I've heard you discuss it. It's like you sort of <coughs> awakened to your your true nature. Is that yeah yeah? Um, it all started off with me realizing that I didn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go through so much of your life, especially the teenage years and the early twenties, where you think you've got it all figured out. You're old enough to work, you're old enough to drive, you're old enough to you know, decide what you want to do for the rest of your life, you're old enough to make your own decisions in your relationships, you know, and you think you've got it all. And I just woke up and went, I really don't know anything. And that was really empowering to know that I don't know everything and I don't know all the answers, but I have a chance to figure it all out. And that's what I'm trying to do now is still, I don't have it all perfect yet. I would love to have it all perfect, but... Awesome. And would you have considered yourself at that point to be clinically depressed? No. So you've never had depression or anything? No. All right. So, and more just you were reflecting and... and yeah. yeah. Excellent. And being a life coach, tell me a little bit about that part of your life at the moment. It's the most awarding thing I've ever done. Um, you actually get to see people come in at a low point in their life, the same place that I was at, that very low point. And then you get to see the transformation of watching them grow as people, watching them just become one with themselves and to see their own light and start living a life on purpose. I absolutely am so grateful for it. Yeah.